Hello lovely people, welcome back. Hope you're all okay. Today we're going to do a classic Pilates class and it's going to feature two exercises from our technical corner. It's going to be the side plank and the, uh, the full roll down today. So if you have any problems with those, you can go back, check those out and hopefully they will be able to address any issues you have with those two particular exercises in this class today. Now, uh, before we actually get into it, uh, just while I'm thinking about it, with the technical corner, I would really appreciate if you have any uh, exercises, any technical points that you would like me to look at and make a few videos for you to, with further explanations, please do let me know in the comments below and I will make sure I get onto those. Good, okay, now we can get started. All right, so we're gonna start with the warm up. Get yourselves ready, we're gonna stand up for that. Hi, this is Rory Antonia from Devon. Fitness has been our lifestyle and our passion forever. And it's been our profession for 15 years. Now we're making fitness videos to help you through the storm that's battering all our lives. We're all in this together. Let us help you stay fit to stay sane. Right, so get yourself standing up with your feet hip width apart, knees soft, pull up tall, shoulders down and back, long neck, head top up. Take a big deep breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, release your shoulders. Place a hand on your abdominals, one on the small of your back. Tilt your pelvis all the way forwards, it tilts up at the front. And then tilt your pelvis all the way back so you're pushing your bottom out there and it's lifting at the back. And then just start to tilt forwards and back. And all the way forwards and all the way back. And all the way forwards, all the way back. And then settle into neutral spine where your lower back is straight. And then let your arms relax down by your side, lengthen up through your spine, lengthen up through your neck, shoulders back and down, chin up the chest, the knees are still soft. Okay, now place your hands on your rib cage with your middle fingers touching. We're gonna get into that breathing. Big, lovely deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. As you inhale, you should feel those middle fingers separate as your lungs fill up, okay? All right, let's do it. Ready, go. Big deep breath in through your nose. Middle fingers separate as the lungs expand and then exhale through your mouth and the middle fingers come together again as you exhale. And again, big deep breath in and out through your mouth. And again. And out and one last time. Get those lungs working. Big deep breath in and out through your mouth. Now we're gonna to start to pull the abdominals in two now. So index fingers together, thumbs together. Tips of the index fingers on the pubic bone, thumbs above the navel, hands resting flat. Now we're gonna to start to squeeze those abdominals in. Okay, so we're gonna start with the pelvic floor to begin with. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, just start squeezing in those pelvic floor muscles, nice and tight. You're feeling that little squeeze at the front, that little squeeze in your backside pulling in, and then release it all as you inhale. And as you exhale, squeeze those pelvic floor muscles in. And I'm going to be doing a focus on the pelvic floor and the abdominals quite soon. Release as you inhale. And exhale, squeeze those pelvic floor muscles in nice and tight. And release. Now we're going to also include the second part, which is where you pull the abdominals in flat. It's as if you're pulling up a a zipper on a really tight pair of jeans, pulling those abdominals in really flat. Okay, ready? Inhale. Exhale. Start with a squeeze of the pelvic floor first and then pull your navel in flat and tight to the spine. Everything gets sucked in flat there and now release it all as you inhale. And as you exhale, pelvic floor first and then the navel gets pulled in tight and flat to the spine and release as you inhale. Exhale, pull in pelvic floor to navel, navel to spine, release as you inhale, and one more time, exhale, lock those abdominals in nice and tight and flat as you can, and then 
a release and just let your arms relax down by your sides. Now we're going to go into some roll downs, okay? So continue to stretch and get the body moving nicely before we get into those exercises. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, pull your abdominals in tight, bring your chin down to your chest and then continue coming down one vertebra at a time. When your fingertips reach the floor, pause there, take a big deep breath in. And now as you exhale, make sure you are pulling those abdominals in really tight as you stack one vertebra on top of the other until you are straight. And release your shoulders, inhale, stretch up as tall as you can. Stretch it up, turn your hands out. Exhale, stretch down your arms as you bring them down. Inhale, bend your knees, let your arms float up to the parallel to the floor. Exhale, pull in to straighten up. Release one more time. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, squeeze your abdominals in, chin to chest and continue coming down. Now I'm not going to talk to you as I roll down because the microphone goes crazy. Pause when you're down there. Take a big deep breath in first. And as you exhale, squeeze those abdominals in really tight as you stack one on top of the other, smoothly does it. Hopefully the microphone didn't go crazy there. Release your shoulders, inhale, stretch up. Turn your hands out, exhale, pull in as your arms come down. Inhale, bend, let the arms float up. Exhale, pull in to straighten up. Now we're going to continue, but we're going to do some folds. We're going to fold from the hip. This time we're going to keep the back really straight. And to do that, I think it's, it's going to be easier for to see what this looks like if I go sideways on. So I'm going to turn sideways, uh, feet hip width apart. This time you're going to keep your back straight, really straight. All right, let's do it. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in. Now push your bottom out towards the wall behind you first, and then you're folding from your hips. You're bringing your chest down until it's parallel to the floor or as far down as you're comfortable with. Pause there, just gently let your arms hang down, hands hanging down under the shoulders, chin off the chest, big deep breath in. Exhale, pull the abdominals in as you straighten up. Once you're straight, release the shoulders, inhale, stretch up. Turn your hands out, exhale, pull in, stretch down your arms as you bring them down. Inhale, bend your knees, let your arms float up. Exhale, bring it up. Okay, I'm going to turn back to face you again. And we're going to do that again. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in now. Bottom goes out. Keep the knees soft. Don't lock them out. Bring your chest down. Keep the chin off the chest. When you're down, let your hands hang down under your shoulders. Big deep breath in. Exhale, pull in. Now you'll be feeling a really nice stretch through the hamstrings there. Just starting to stretch them out. Release your shoulders. Inhale, stretch up. Turn your hands out, exhale, stretch down to your fingertips as those arms come down to your sides. Inhale, bend the knees, let the arms float up nice and gently. Exhale, pull in to straighten up, release your shoulders. Okay, now stretch your right arm to this, up to the ceiling as high as it'll go. Bring your hand down behind you, pull the elbow back and just hold it there, breathe into it. Just a couple breaths here. Now bring the right arm across your chest, pull it across. So you get that little stretch through the shoulder, pull it right over and then turn your head right round to look over your right shoulder. Bring your head back to the center, release your arm, stretch your left one up there, stretch it up. Bring your hand down, pull the elbow back, hold there. Just a couple breaths and then bring the arm across, pull it over towards the right, turn your head around. Bring your head back to the center, release the arms. Now clasp your hands together in front of you, bring your hands up level with the shoulders, elbows wide, bring your chin right the way down to your chest. I'm not going to talk while I do this or the microphone does go crazy. Once your head is down, pull the arms forward. The hands just pull away from the shoulders. Bring your head back up. Bring your arms back down. Clasp your hands together behind you. Pull your hands down. Lift them out and away from your body. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. 
Lengthen up through your spine, lengthen up through your neck. And breathe. And then release. Now some shoulder rolls, bring them up. Bring them back and down, pull them up. Elbows back and down, pull up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together back there and down. And one more time, lift, bring it up and release it. Right, so now we're gonna go down to the mat to get ourselves ready for the lean backs to continue warming up. This time we're gonna really focus on warming the abdominals up. Get yourself sitting on your mat with your bottom halfway down your mat, your feet out in front of you, hip width apart and flat on the mat. All right, then once those are in place, pull up tall, pull up through your spine, head top up, bring your shoulders down and back, let go of them, let them relax down. Have your hands on the mat, palms facing the ceiling, just resting softly there, or you can hold onto the back of your thighs if you need a bit of extra support for your lower back. Okay, so either hands there or down here, and we're gonna go into the lean back warm up. So it's just a little movement to begin with, and you're just really using your abdominals to do the work. So don't let yourself tense up. Okay, let's go. Ready, go. Inhale as you tilt your pelvis forward and lean back just a little bit. Now as you exhale, squeeze your abdominals in to lift. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back a little bit further and exhale, squeeze in tight to lift. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back a little bit further still and exhale, lock the abdominals in to lift you up. And one more, inhale, tilt your pelvis forward first, let yourself lean back, keep the shoulders down and relaxed and exhale, squeeze it up. Then lean back on your hands, stretch your legs out in front of you, sit up really tall. We're gonna go for a little hamstring stretch now. Big deep breath in and as you exhale, Lower your chest down towards your thighs, reach your hands forward, and then just relax into it. So breathe into the stretch. Now, just to remind you, you can, you can just let your hands rest on your shins. You can hold on to your ankles, the soles of your feet. Just make sure the knees aren't sort of really up off the mat. So gently pull the backs of your knees down into the mat without forcing them down. And then Breathe, breathe into it. Lovely deep breaths in. And exhale, feel yourself release into the stretch and just keep that going, inhale. And exhale into it. Inhale. And exhale into it. And so on. Okay, so hopefully that has just started to stretch out nicely. We'll do that again later, but now, well, not the very same one, but a different hamstring stretch. Now bring your feet back into position. Okay, get them into position again. Hip width apart, flat on the mat. Sit up tall, release the shoulders, chin up the chest, and into those lean backs again. Right, ready, go. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back, and as you exhale, squeeze to lift. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back, keep the shoulders down and back and squeeze in tight to lift. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward and lean back. Exhale, lock the abdominals in to lift you. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward first, let yourself lean back. Chin off the chest, squeeze it up. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward as you lean back. Exhale, blow the air up as you come up. One more, inhale, tilt your pelvis forward as you lean back and exhale, squeeze it. Up there, lean back on your hands, stretch your legs out there, give them a little shake. And now we're gonna go down to the mat and we're gonna spend the next few seconds, well, minute or so, just at getting to our back muscles, giving them a really nice massage before we continue. Get yourself ready to go all the way down. Sit up tall, we're gonna take it all the way down this time. Big deep breath in, and as you exhale, Pull the abdominals in, tilt the pelvis forward, start squeezing the abdominals in tighter and tighter. We're gonna be doing this a lot more later, but right now we're just getting ourselves down to the mat there so that we can stay there to get into the next bit, which is where we're gonna to get to those back muscles. Pick your feet up, hands on your knees, just start rocking gently side to side over your lower back. And then bring your knees to the center 
to start at the base of the spine. We want to get to those the, the muscles right at the very base of the spine. Lower your feet down just a little bit as you feel the base of your spine come down flat onto the mat there. And then you may want to let go of your knees or not, and then just start rocking side to side. Now you're just aiming to get to these first few vertebrae there and the muscles both sides pressing down into the mat right at the base of the spine, the coccyx and the sacrum, just pressing down those glutes. All right, now we're gonna take it to the lumbar spine, bring your knees in a bit closer, place your hands back on your knees if you've taken them away. And now we're focusing on the lumbar spine. So really feeling that, feels always feels good. The lower spine, just all those muscles tend to be quite tight and tense because they do a lot of work supporting that vulnerable part of your back. So they can get quite tight there. And we're gonna stay over the lumbar spine, let the knees drop open and just go from one hip to the other hip. So you're able to take it out wider and press the lower back flatter into the mat. And then bring your knees back together again and now pull them in really quite a lot closer to the chest, really pulled in quite tight. Keep them pulled in tight against you and then just start very gently rocking from one shoulder blade over to the other shoulder blade. Soft little movements, keep it gentle. Just getting into the thoracic spine there. So with your lower spine pulled up off the mat there, you're able to focus on the thoracic spine, which is the upper part of your back really from your waist, going up, This, in this case, to the shoulders. Okay, bring them back to the center. Keep them pulled in close to your chest. Three circles clockwise. Ready, go. Circle your knees all the way around. Draw a nice big circle once and then pull them back up close to the chest. And again, two, and again, three. And now three the opposite way around. And one, and two and the other one the last one three and now bring your feet down to your mat stretch your legs out there in front of you once your legs are out there just give them a little shake out just to make sure they're released and then center yourselves into your mat nicely getting comfortable lying here flat on your back then lift your arms up and over your head let them relax on the floor on the mat behind you and then you can just relax the way you are or working the stretch ever so gently Inhale first, as you exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, press your lower back into the mat, lock it down, and then just get that little, soft little stretch where the wrists are pulling up and away from the shoulders, and the ankles are pulling down and away from the hips, ever so softly, and then release it. Bring your arms back over to the front, bring your feet onto the mat, and there, we're ready to get into the next exercises. So the next series of exercises we're gonna get into is the full roll down. So when you're ready, either rock yourself up to sitting or push yourself up and get yourself back into the same position that you were in for your lean back. So feet hip width apart, flat on the floor, sit up, get yourself ready to go down. But just before we do, it just occurred to me that um, you can check out the technical corner that will have a detailed breakdown of the full roll down if you need it, okay? So get yourself into that. But anyway, other than that, just get yourself ready to go. So sit up tall, release your shoulders. Now we're gonna take it all the way down. So either holding onto the back of your thighs or hands down by your side, pull up tall, big deep breath in. As you exhale, Pull your abdominals in a little, tilt your pelvis forward and out, squeeze, start squeezing your abdominals in tighter and tighter as you bring your spine down slowly, one vertebra at a time until you're down. When you're down, a big deep breath in as your arms go over. And now as you exhale, bring the arms over, you're still exhaling, blow the air out. To lift yourself up straight, big deep breath in. 
as you exhale pull in tilt the pelvis forward now you're trying to get that spine down slowly and carefully try and keep the shoulders down and soft all the way down when you are down a big deep breath in as your arms go over as you exhale bring them back over and bring it up inhale to prepare exhale pull in tilt the pelvis forward remember you can have your hands on the back of your thighs you can get your elbows at the ready to help steady you down if you need to if you feel yourself dropping when you're down inhale as your arms go over exhale start moving right away keep exhaling lock the abdominals in squeeze them in tight to lift you back up and again inhale exhale pull in slow smooth steady down inhale as your arms go over exhale start bringing them over Just keep on exhaling as you bring it up one more time before we change it a bit you don't have to but we'll get to that in a second or two inhale exhale pull in as you bring it down inhale arms go over exhale bring it all the way back up there okay now just stretch your legs out there we're going to continue with a few more now you have the option of doing these next few that are going to be harder or you can stay with the roll down that you've just been doing it's completely up to you so the one that we're going to do today is the one that has the two stops on the way down to the mat so it's all about using the abdominals to control that descent down really solidly all right get yourself ready into position again but this time i'm going to have those two little stops on the way down ready inhale exhale pull in tilt your pelvis forward and lean back to that first stop right there stay pulled in take a big deep breath in exhale pull in a lot tighter to bring the next few vertebrae down and pause there stay pulled in inhale and exhale squeeze with everything you've got left in the tank all the way down and when you are down release it all as you inhale and bring your arms over and as you exhale bring the arms over and squeeze it back up till you're sitting up straight again and again inhale to prepare exhale pull in tilt your pelvis forward and lean back to that first stop or just keep going inhale exhale pull in tighter as if you're pulling in a belt in a couple of holes on that belt inhale exhale squeeze with everything you've got left until you're down and then inhale as your arms go over and exhale bring the arms over keep the chin off the chest lock those abdominals in really get them working to lift you back up and there is one more inhale exhale pull in tilt your pelvis forward lean back to that first stop stay there big deep breath in exhale squeeze in even tighter to bring those next few vertebrae down stay pulled in inhale and exhale squeeze with everything you got left until you're down okay now big deep breath in arms go over and as you exhale bring the arms over keep pulling in keep exhaling and squeeze it all my abdominals are not cooperating very well today there okay lean back on your hands stretch your legs out give them a little shake good that's the roll downs for today we're going to go down to the mat have a quick rock side to side before we continue so let's get ourselves ready feet hip width apart sit up tall inhale to prepare exhale pull in tilt the pelvis forward so there's just one this one little roll down to get ourselves down to the mat but this time we're gonna stay right there okay stay there get yourselves comfortable lying here on your back then pick your feet up hands on your knees and just start having a nice rock side to side so when you think back to when we just did this a short time ago rocking side to side you'll have had a good feel for where you need it so just to remind you if you need it higher up your back 
you bring your knees in closer to your chest. If you, your back's telling you you need it lower down, you lower your feet down towards the mat a little bit to bring it down. Or you can do what I'm doing right now, which is to bring it up a little bit, get higher up, and then bring it down a little bit to get lower down the spine. It's really what feels good for you right now. And then bring your feet down to the mat and just rest it there for a second while I tell you what's coming next. So we're gonna get into the scissors series now. And this week we are going to do a slow and steady one. So I'm gonna ask you, just if you have a look to begin with before you get started, you're gonna lift your legs into tabletop. I say that, however, if you want to keep it easier, you can keep one leg down and the other leg outstretched. That's gonna make it feel a lot easier, okay? So it's really up to you, either the left foot down on the mat or both legs at tabletop to start with. If you are at tabletop, have that little rock side to side to get the lower back down into the mat. If you need to place your fingertips under your bottom to cushion your lower back or to make it feel a bit easier, up to you. Or arms down by your sides, or you can lift up in the advanced position if you wish. I'm gonna stay up here. So, if you're in the advanced position, your head is just resting against your hands. You're not pulling on the neck though. You're just letting your head rest against the hands there. Elbows out wide. Now, tabletop, so knees over the hips, calves parallel to the floor. Stretch your right leg out to that diagonal line. Now don't do this yet, but you're gonna lower this leg down really slowly when it reaches the mat. You're just gonna let it rest there for a second. You're gonna inhale, and as you exhale, you're gonna pull your abdominals in to lift. Now the focus on this one is about pulling the abdominals in and using the abdominals to pin the lower back down to the mat all the way through that movement. If you feel that your back is lifting and there's nothing you can do about it, then don't bring your leg all the way down. You might just wanna bring it down halfway or wherever it feels right for you, where you feel your back starting to lift. All right, so let's do it. We're gonna stretch the right leg out there now, out to that diagonal line, rotate out from the hip, soft point in the toes, we're gonna lower it down slowly, slowly. So first, take a big deep breath in. And now as you exhale, start lowering that right leg down slowly, slowly, pulling the abdominals in, using them to keep that lower back pinned to the mat all the way through that movement when it reaches the mat or as low down as you can go. Stop there, inhale. And as you exhale, pull the abdominals in to lift the leg up, bring it to tabletop, stretch out your left. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, start pulling in a little as the leg goes down. You're pulling in tighter and tighter and flatter and flatter as that leg goes down when it reaches the mat. You release, you take a big deep breath in. And as you exhale, squeeze to lift the leg up, bring it to tabletop. Stretch out the right, rotate out the hip. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, start bringing that leg down slowly, slowly, steadily. Don't rush it when it reaches the mat. Release everything there. As you breathe in, as you breathe out, lock the abdominals in to lift the leg up. Bend it to tabletop. Stretch out your left. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, start pulling in tighter and flatter and tighter. Really feeling for that lower back to stay pressed into the mat all the way through that movement. Release it there, inhale and exhale. Pull in to lift it up, bend it to tabletop, bring your head down, hug your knees in, have a little rock side to side over your back. Good, okay, now we're gonna go into the, the uh, next version of the exercise. Now this is a lot harder because you're gonna be using both legs coming down at the same time and lifting both legs up, right? So you're working with the, twice the weight. You're using your abdominals to control that, the legs down and you're using your abdominals to lift them up off the mat and to keep that lower back down on the mat. So here you're gonna to have to be even more careful. Stay tuned into your lower back. If you feel it arching up, that's telling you to not bring your legs down beyond a certain point. All right, so be sensible about this all right so now stretch both legs out there feet knees and thighs together legs straight rock side to side lower backs down on the mat now once again fingertips under the bottom arms down by your sides or lift up into the advanced position big deep breath in 
As you exhale, start bringing your legs down slowly, slowly. Abdominals pulled in tighter and tighter and tighter. Stop where you have to. When you reach that point, you take a big deep breath in. And as you exhale, pull in to lift up. Pause there, inhale. As you exhale, start bringing them down, pulling in tighter and tighter and tighter, keeping that lower back pressed into the mat all the way down. Release there, inhale. And exhale, pull in to lift up. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, bring your legs down. Remember, you can stop whatever point down to the floor, wherever it feels right for you. Please don't force it. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, pull in to lift both legs up. And one more time, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in as you bring it down. Abdominals are working really, really hard. Release them there as you inhale. And exhale, squeeze them in tight to lift. And then bring your head down. Hug your knees in. Rock side to side. Good. And then bring your feet down to the mat. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Give them a little shake out. And rest it there. Now, before we get into the next group, we're going to have a little stretch. So lying down here, bring your arms up and over your head behind you again. Let them relax there. Inhale. Exhale, tilt the pelvis forward, press the lower back down into the mat. Just have that little gentle stretch. Really gentle and balanced out. So right to left is balanced, arms to legs is balanced. It just should feel really nice. Good, and then release. Bring your arms back over to the front. Bring your feet onto the mat and either rock yourself up to sitting or push yourself up because what we're going to do next is get into the side plank. Now, here, once again, we've got this in technical corner. So if you're in doubt about this at all, go and check that out. There's all the various levels of how you can do this, right from uh, basic, beginner, intermediate, advanced. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing the we're going to break down to two parts and I'm going to do the first part in the intermediate position and then I'm going to do the second part in the advanced position. But you can stay at beginner level or whatever right the way through all of them. But do check out the exercise in technical corner. For your side plank, get yourself sitting on your side here with your knees forward, feet tucked in behind your bottom so that your feet, bottom and hand line up in that line at the back of you. Right, now, once you're in this position, sitting on your side, then you're ready to go. Now, you can choose the other positions that you, starting positions that you'll be able to find in technical corner if you want the, the basic or the intermediate or the advanced or, you know, whatever, you go and check that out in technical corner. The one I'm going to demonstrate today is going to be, I'm going to do a few from the um, easy uh, and then I'm going to do a few of the advanced but as I said there's a whole range of different levels you can choose from so for the easy version this is the basic by the way the way I'm sitting but for the easy version you stretch one leg out straight out there along the mat there and your foot's resting on your side hand is under the shoulder and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be lifting that hip up and back down so you're pulling in the abdominals, you're lifting up, feeling the obliques working there, really using the abdominals and the obliques there to pull you up. Everything's locked in nice and solid there and coming back down. Now, you're gonna, we're doing, gonna do a few of those and then we're also going to a few where we add in the arm where you look up to your fingertips. All right, so let's do two of each from this position. All right, so hand in front of you and you're just gonna keep it there as you lift that hip vertically up. All right, let's do it. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull the abdominals in. Lift up and hold. And then inhale, let yourself come down gently. And exhale, pull in as you lift and hold. And bring it back down. Now we're going to do two where we lift up and look 
to the fingertips. All right, here we go. Inhale, exhale, lift that hip up, hold there, look up to your fingertips, arm nice and straight, and then gently bring it down. And one more of these, inhale to prepare, exhale, lift up, look up to your fingertips, and bring it back down. Now, um, I'm gonna change position now to get into position to do it from the advanced position, but as I said, you can stay this way, go to the easy, the basic, whichever one works for you. Now, for the advanced one, you're gonna start from, from the box position here because we're gonna get into a high plank and then we're gonna to rotate to get into that side plank. Right, so in that box position, back nice and straight, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull the abdominals in as you walk one foot back, the other foot back, hip width apart, tuck your bottom in, pause there, big deep breath in. As you exhale, turn over onto the sides of your feet, lift up, stretch up to the fingertips and hold. And then bring your hand back down to the mat, back into that high plank, and then into the box position. And again, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, walk one foot back, the other foot back, tuck your bottom in and hold. Inhale, exhale, pull in, swivel over, look up to your fingertips, and then back into your high plank, bring the knees in. Two more of these, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, walk one foot back, the other foot back, tuck in and hold. Inhale to prepare, exhale, turn over. Lift up to your fingertips, bring it back into the high plank, bring your knees in. One more time, inhale to prepare, exhale, walk one foot back, the other foot back, tuck in and hold, inhale, exhale, turn over, stretch up, back to the high plank, bring it down. Now we're going to do the other side, but sit back on your heels, bring your head down, Stretch the arms forward along your mat. A few deep breaths in and out, relax. And then come back up. Now, I'm gonna do the other side. So, into the box position on this side. Now we're gonna come up onto that left arm too as we turn into that side plank. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, walk one foot back, the other foot back, tuck in, hold there. Inhale, exhale, turn over into the sides of your feet. Look up to the fingertips. And then back into your high plank and bring the knees in. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, walk one leg back, the other leg back, tuck into your high plank. Inhale. Exhale, bring it over and look up to your fingertips. And then bring it back into your high plank and back into the box position. Two more. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, walk one foot back, the other foot back, tuck in and hold. Inhale. Exhale, bring it over and look up to your fingertips. And then bring it back. Knees in, and one last time, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, walk one foot back, the other foot back, tuck in, hold, inhale. Exhale, turn over onto the sides of your feet. Look up, keep that core nicely locked in tight. And then come back into your high plank. Knees in, sit back, head down, stretch your arms out. And release. And then sit yourself up. Release the shoulders a little bit. And get ready to get into the next exercise. We're going to roll down to the mat to get ourselves into position to get into a shoulder bridge series. So get yourselves ready to go down. Feet hip width apart. Sit up tall. One deep, deep breath in. Exhale, pull in as you bring it all the way down. And once you're down, stay there. Get your feet into position on your mat. Get yourself comfortable lying here flat on your back. Feet hip width apart, flat on the mat. Arms down by your sides. 
palms facing down. Now just check your positioning. Make sure those feet aren't too far forward along the mat or too squashed up against your bottom. Somewhere in between. There. Always good to have a little check to see that they're in place. All right. So we're going to go into the shoulder bridge warm up. It's just a little movement to begin with. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward first and then lift your hips and bottom up off the mat just a little bit. And now breathing normally, bring your spine back down, one vertebra at a time until you're down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt the pelvis forward first. The glutes and hamstrings are now working to lift you up a little bit higher, couple more vertebrae lifting. And now breathing normally, just feel your way back down focusing on feeling every single vertebra pressing down into that mat all the way down until you're down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward all the way and lift up till you're almost at the full stretch but just not quite there. And now bring it down, slow and steady. Keep your weight centered over your spine your feet flat on the mat, try not to let your knees roll in or roll out. And now up to the full stretch, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward first all the way and now you're lifting your spine one vertebra at a time off the mat until you're on your shoulder blades at the full stretch. Okay, stay there, you're in a straight line from your knees to your shoulders, your glutes and hamstrings are holding you up here. All right, now, that's the full stretch. Make sure you're not pushing into those legs to hold yourself up there. Neck and shoulders should feel soft and relaxed. Okay, now breathing normally, bring it back down. Focus on every vertebra coming down, one after the other, so that each vertebra gets its own lovely little massage into it, all the way down until your bottom is down. All right. Now, if you should start to feel like you're cramping up in your hamstrings at any stage, just stretch your legs out and give them a shake. All right, but now what we're going to do is we're gonna go into classic shoulder bridge. We're gonna do four, and then we're gonna do a variation on the theme. Okay, so arms down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt the pelvis forward. Start lifting your spine off the mat, one vertebra at a time. Stay centered as you come up. Once you're up, big deep breath in as your arms go over your head. Leave them there and now exhale, pull in as you bring your spine back down, one vertebra at a time. Leave your arms there behind you until your bottom is down. When your bottom is down, then inhale as the arms come over to the front. Inhale to prepare, exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward, start lifting your spine off the mat until you've reached that full stretch. Inhale as your arms go over. Exhale, pull in as you bring your spine back down carefully, one vertebra at a time until you're down. Inhale as your arms come over to the front. Two more, inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt that pelvis forward, feel the glutes and hamstrings working to lift you up and to hold you up. Inhale as your arms go over, leave them there behind you. Exhale, pull in as you bring your spine down. Try not to let your fingertips slide forwards as your spine comes down. So keep your fingertips in exactly the same place all the way down. Inhale as your arms come over one more time. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt the pelvis forward, lift yourself up. Inhale, arms go over. Exhale, pull in as you bring your spine back down. Inhale, as your arms come over to the front. Now stretch your legs out there, give them a little shake out before we go into the next exercise. Okay, so we're gonna go into, staying with the shoulder bridge series, we're gonna take it up uh, a notch, all right, uh, or two even. So first, we're going to just do two uh, of the intermediate version of this exercise, which is where 
I'm going to explain. You don't do this yet. You're going to inhale, and as you exhale, you're going to lift yourself up. I'm going to speed this up just so I can show you. And then inhale, you're going to stretch one leg up, and as you exhale, you're going to hold. And then without letting your back sink down, you're going to bring your foot down to the mat, and then exhale, you roll it back down. Okay, and then we're going to do the other leg, and the more advanced one too. We're going to do that, and again, you don't have to do it if you want to do the intermediate or go back to the classic. It's your choice completely. Do whatever works for you. All right, so for the advanced one, you're going to lift up, and then you're going to lift that leg up. You're going to lower it down this time. So you're going to inhale. As you exhale, you're going to bring it all the way down, or as far down as you feel comfortable with. By the way, you don't have to bring it all the way down. When the heel touches the mat, you pause there. You inhale, and as you exhale, you pull the abdominals in to lift the leg up. The foot goes down. And then you roll the spine down. So that's the more advanced one. So we're going to do a couple of the intermediate and then four of the advanced. Let's just see how that goes. Get yourselves ready. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Pull in. Tilt your pelvis forward. Lift yourself up to the full stretch. When you're there, inhale as you stretch your right leg vertical and straight up to the ceiling. And exhale. Hold. 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 Inhale as you carefully place your foot back down to the mat where it started from, and then exhale. Pull in as you roll your spine back down to the mat. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Pull in. Tilt your pelvis forward and lift yourself back up to that full stretch. Inhale. Stretch your left leg up. Exhale. Hold. 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 Hold your height under your spine. Inhale as the foot goes back down to the mat where it started from. Exhale, pull in as you roll your spine back down. Now we're going to do one more on each side of the intermediate one before we move on to the advanced. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt that pelvis forward and lift yourself up there. Inhale, stretch your right leg up. Exhale, hold, hold, hold. Make sure you're holding your shape. Inhale as you carefully place that foot back down. Exhale, pull the abdominals in as you roll your spine back down one vertebra at a time until it's all the way down on the mat. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward, lift yourself back up there again. Inhale, exhale, hold, hold, hold. Abdominals pulled in nice and tight. Hold your shape. Inhale as the foot goes down, and exhale. Bring your spine down carefully, one vertebra at a time, until you are down. Now, before we go into the advance, have a little shake out of the legs just to release the hamstrings. There. All right. Now we're going to get into the more advanced one. As I said, though, feel free to stick with the intermediate or go back to the basic. All right. Let's go. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Pull in. Tilt your pelvis forward. Lift yourself up to that full stretch. Inhale as you stretch your right leg up. Exhale, start pulling in as you lower your leg down. Stay pulled in. You're pulling in. You're exhaling all the way down. When your heel touches the mat, pause there. Inhale. Exhale, lock the abdominals in to lift the leg up. Inhale, the foot goes down to the mat where it started from. Exhale, pull in as you roll your spine down. So there's quite a lot of stages to that one, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward, lift yourself back up there again. When you're at the full stretch, inhale as you stretch your left leg up. Exhale, pull in as you lower your left leg down. Keep your pelvis flat. When your heel touches the floor, as low down as you want to go. Inhale. Exhale, pull in to lift the leg up. Inhale, the foot goes down flat on the mat. Exhale, pull in as you roll your spine back down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull in. Tilt the pelvis forward. Lift yourself up. Inhale, stretch the right leg up. Exhale, pull in as it comes down when it reaches the mat. Pause there. Inhale. Exhale, pull in to lift it up. Inhale, the foot goes down. Exhale, roll your spine back down to the mat. Inhale. Exhale, pull in, bring it all the way up. Inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, pull in. Now try not to let yourself tilt over. Keep that pelvis flat all the way down. Inhale to prepare. 
exhale, pull in to lift it up, bring it down, roll your spine back down one vertebra at a time. Inhale, exhale, pull in, tilt the pelvis forward and scoop up to that full stretch. Inhale, stretch your right leg up. Exhale, pull in as you bring that spine, uh, the spine, that leg down when it reaches there. Inhale, exhale, pull in to lift it up. Inhale, the foot goes down. Exhale, pull in, roll your spine back down. Inhale, exhale, pull in, bring it all the way up. Inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale. Abdominals are pulled in really tight. Stay really solid through your core when it reaches the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Pull in to lift it up. Bring your foot down. Roll your spine back down. We are almost there. Just one on the right, one on the left. And that long, rather long series of those today is done. Inhale. Exhale. Pull in. Tilt forwards. Lift yourself back up. Inhale. Stretch. Exhale, keep that leg long, keep that height under your spine working, glutes and hamstrings really working. Inhale, exhale, pull in to lift it up, foot down, pull in on your way down and we are on the final one. Inhale, exhale, pull in, tilt your pelvis forward, lift yourself up. Inhale, up goes the left, exhale, Bring it down. Inhale. Exhale. Pull in to lift it up. Inhale. Foot goes down. Exhale. Roll your spine back down. And that, my friends, is that on this exercise. So stretch your legs out to release those glutes and hamstrings just to let them go. And now we'll give them a stretch before we carry on. So bring your feet back onto the mat. And then lift your right leg straight up to the ceiling. Hold on to the back of your thigh. Inhale. As you exhale, pull that leg in towards your chest. If then you want to reach up and hold on to your calf, go for it. Now keep the knee a little soft. Don't lock it out. If you need to bend it, you can. You can bend it as much as you need to. But if you do bend it, that means you can pull it in a lot closer to your chest if you keep it quite straight probably won't be able to get it in as far but that's okay as long as you are feeling the stretch working through your hamstrings there that's all we're after let's release them four three two one and now place your foot across your the opposite knee lift that Left foot up, reach through, hold on the back of that thigh rather than the front and then pull it in towards you and release. Now, I know that sometimes people do it with their hands in front of their knee, but in Pilates you're taught to do it this way because the thinking behind that is, is that if you put them on the front, it just puts a lot of pressure through that knee and especially if you've got sort of wee knees that aren't so good like me. You gotta watch for these things. So behind that thigh, pull the knee in towards your chest. If you need a bit more, if you need to make it a bit less intense, let the left foot get closer to the mat. So just work out what works for you. Good, and then bring it down. Now right foot down, stretch the left leg up. Hold on to the left, back of that left thigh. Inhale. As you exhale, bring the leg in. You can hold on to the calf. Bring it in. Four. Three. Two. One. And now bring the foot across, place the foot across the knee. Lift that right foot up through the middle. Hold on to the back of that right thigh. Release into it. So just to remind you, those of you who find this position really awkward and uncomfortable, you can always grab your towel, your little hand towel that hopefully you've got there. And so 
it is you, you like this it would work like this so you just thread it through and you just hold on to that towel so that, that way you don't have to hold on there you've got the the towel to support you and that will let you go as close to the mat or as in as much as you need okay but that's only if you need to otherwise just use your hands there on the back of that thigh okay and then bring your feet down and relax it there we're almost ready we have one more exercise to do so we're gonna sit up and we're gonna turn over so rock yourself up to sitting and when you're up there you're gonna be ready to turn over Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, lift your chest up off the mat, face looking down. Inhale as you come down. Exhale, lift and hold. Inhale as you come down. Exhale, lift and hold. Inhale as you come down. Exhale, lift and hold. Inhale as you come down. Okay, now for the next four, bring your forearms onto the floor, right angles at the elbows, forearms there. You can keep your arms down on the floor or you can do them with them raised off the, the floor, hovering like that, up to you. Obviously, off the mat, off the floor is gonna be harder. You decide. All right, let's do it. So your arms down or up, inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. All right, now bring your arms out to that diagonal. So the elbows are just off the mat, thumbs pointing up to the ceiling, arms in that V position. You're gonna tilt your head down again so your nose is just off the mat so your neck stays straight. Okay, let's do that. Okay, inhale. Exhale, lift, inhale, down. Exhale, lift, inhale, down. Exhale, lift, inhale, down. Exhale, lift, inhale, down. Now bring your arms up above you, palms facing each other, shoulder width apart, tilt your head down, nose just off the mat. Inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, down. Exhale, lift, inhale, down. Exhale, lift, inhale, down. And exhale, lift, and inhale, down. Just rest your head on your hands. Okay, now come up into the box position. Sit back on your heels. Bring your head down. Stretch your arms out there in front of you. Come up into the box position. Some cat to cow stretches. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, flat back to start with. Inhale. Exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, chin to chest. Inhale, bring it flat or continue it on up. As you exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, bring your chin down to your chest and push your shoulders and spine up there. Inhale as you bring your back flat or continue it on up into the cow. Exhale, tilt your pelvis forward. Bring it flat or continue it on up. And one more time. Exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, chin to chest, push the shoulders and spine up there. Inhale, bring it flat or continue it on up. And then straighten your back out. Now there's just one more little stretch I would like to include and to be honest I'm doing it for selfish reasons because I, yesterday I, well we brought a spinning bike home from the, the fitness factory and so that we can teach spinning to those lucky people who have a bike I know not everybody has one obviously but um, so I did his spinning class and uh, hadn't done a spin class for a month and I am feeling it in my quads today so what we're going to do next is a quad stretch so lie down on your mat on your front rest your head on the back of your right hand 
Reach back with your left hand and pick your left foot up. Bring your left heel in as close to your bottom as you can. And then you're gonna press your hips and your pelvis into the mat. So tilt your pelvis forward, press your hips and your pelvis down into the mat, and then just relax into that. Okay, we're gonna change over now. Let that foot come down. Rest your head on the back of your left hand. Reach back with your right. Bring your heel in as close to your bottom as you can. And then relax into that again. Press your hips and your pelvis into that mat. Bring your foot down, come up. And now just before we get up there, we're gonna get up and include a stretch in it. So get yourself into the box position, knees under hips. Now inhale to prepare. As you exhale, lift your bottom up to the ceiling as high as it will go, right onto the tiptoes. And then press your heels down into the mat. Bring your chest in towards your thighs. Look between your legs. And just to give those hamstrings a nice little stretch to finish with. Now soften the knees, bend the knees a little bit and walk your hands back in towards your feet. Now once your hands are quite close to your feet, pause there, take a nice deep breath in and as you exhale, pull the abdominals in as you start to straighten up. So you're straightening up, stacking one vertebra on top of the other until you're straight and release. And then you're there. Well done, everybody. See you very soon for the next one. Lots of love. Take care. See you soon. Bye.